this is Dr. Donna Chaber, Chief of the Division of Sea Turtle Science and Recovery at Potter Island National Seashore. We welcome you to our public Kemp's Release Sea Turtle Hatchling releases that we will be held on August 4th and 5th. August 4th is an entrance fee free day in celebration of the Great American Outdoors Act. On August 5th, our normal entrance fees to the park will be charged for attending the release. Kemp's really is the smallest and most critically endangered of the seven sea turtle species in the world. Padre Isle National Seashore helped start and has participated in the Binational Recovery Program to help save, protect, and promote the Kemp's Ridley Sea Turtle for the last 43 years. Through conservation and management efforts, Kemp's Ridley numbers have increased, but they still are critically endangered and need our help. The hatchlings at our releases are from the Division of Sea Turtle Science and Recovery's Incubation Facility. We hope you get the opportunity to attend one of our releases this year. Visitor safety is the utmost importance to us. Please bring drinking water, a hat, sunglasses, and sunblock. As per CDC guidelines for large gatherings, we recommend wearing a mask, stay socially distanced, wash your hands and use hand sanitizer, and avoid touching your mask, eyes, nose, and mouth. Rotate through the viewing area every 10 minutes to decrease the chance of potentially contracting or spreading COVID. To help ensure the safety of hatchlings and promote a safe and enjoyable experience for all visitors, please follow the following guidelines. Please do not wear white colored clothing or white colored footwear. Hatchlings rely on the moon or sunlight shining on the water and the white foam of the waves to help them find their way. They crawl towards the brightest area and white clothing or shoes can confuse them so those wearing white may be asked to move behind others that wind up with a less ideal view. Please do not use flashlights or flash photography. Please make sure that the flash is turned off on your cell phone, camera, or video equipment. Additionally, do not cast your shadow on a hatchling as this may disorient them as they crawl towards the water. Please do not bring or eat food on the beach. Large gatherings of people will attract gulls and seeing people eating their food will keep their attention on the beach. Do not bring food to the release and avoid waving your arms at the gulls that fly by. You will actually draw in more gulls because they assume you are throwing food to them. Please plant your feet. As the hatchings get close to the surf edge, Waves can sweep in and quickly carry them into the crowds watching the release. The hatchlings can get lost or even stepped on or crushed. When a wave crashes in, the human impulse is to lift up your feet, but in doing so, you could accidentally step on a hatchling. If a wave comes in around you, please keep your feet planted firmly in the sand and stand very still. Our trained staff and volunteers will come and find any hatchlings that were swept into the crowd and bring them back to the safe zone for release. Please do not touch or hold any hatchlings. Only trained, permitted park staff and volunteers are allowed to handle the hatchlings. Anywhere from 100 to more than 1,000 people will attend each public release. Visitors will be distributed among four to five semicircular viewing areas. The perimeter of each viewing area is set up not only to keep the hatchlings safe, but also to give as many visitors as possible a good view of the hatchlings and to enable social distancing. The hatchlings usually take anywhere from 20 to 60 minutes to crawl down the beach and under the water, and the crowd often thins out as time passes, so there should be enough time for everyone to get a good view, especially if you're patient. However, it still may be difficult for some to see, especially small children, or visitors using wheelchairs. Please be courteous and allow others to move up to the front for a better view once you have watched the hatchlings for a few minutes. Help us ensure everyone has a chance to see these rare animals up close during what may be a once in a lifetime experience. We hope to see you at a hatchling release this year. Thank you and goodbye.